The PhD is a journey or quest. It can sometimes feel like the search for the Holy Grail, never ending, elusive and full of dead ends. This course will help you better prepare and equip you for this journey. In it, you will find methods and strategies you can immediately put into practice to get a PhD without the pain, without the debt, without taking forever to finish your thesis, and most importantly, without going nuts. The PhD need not be painful once you know how the process works and you implement certain strategies and methods that break down this process into small steps. The PhD is certainly not easy and it's meant to be a challenge, but it need not be unduly stressful. Most of the stress comes from the pressure we put on ourselves and from the academic culture, from overworked and indifferent professors, from access to resources, from our peers, and from the Byzantine system that is modern academia. Getting a PhD is a skill, a process that can be broken down into manageable, concrete steps. But unfortunately, it's often the case that PhD students don't have the adequate supervision because often professors don't have the time. They're under increasing pressure and time constraints with heavy teaching and administration loads and the constant pressure to publish and produce. As a consequence, PhD students often feel isolated and left to figure it out for themselves. I developed this course in response to students and people interested in getting a PhD asking me for advice. It also came about through my own experience from seeing colleagues struggle with doing a PhD and the stress and anxiety this caused for themselves and for their loved ones. This course is about mastering your PhD. It doesn't claim to have all the answers, but even if you take two or three strategies or tips that you find useful and implement them, then your investment in the course will have been worth it. It's 10 years now since I achieved my PhD in history from the University of St. Andrews in 2009 when I was 27 years old. I got accepted as a PhD candidate when I was 23 at both Cambridge and Oxford universities following my undergrad degree, but chose to pursue my doctoral studies at Oxford, achieving a long-term dream. After completing a research master's at the University of Oxford in 2005, I decided to leave Oxford because I re received full funding from the Carnegie Trust to pursue my PhD at St. Andrews under the supervision of a leading scholar in my field. I was a Carnegie scholar there and managed to complete my PhD in three and a half years without any debt, as well as publishing three peer-reviewed articles in leading journals. I had a postdoctoral research fellowship secured at the Austrian Academy of Sciences in Vienna by the time I completed my PhD and was there for seven years working as a research fellow in one of the world's leading research institutes in my area, working with a large team of international scholars. During this time, I presented my research at conferences and lectures throughout Europe and secured a research grant of 200,000 euro from the Austrian Science Fund for a three-year project of which I was a principal investigator. During the past 10 years since I completed my PhD, I have published three books, two of which with Oxford University Press and numerous peer-reviewed articles in leading international journals. I've managed to establish myself as an early career scholar and become a world expert in my chosen field during this period. When I began my PhD in 2005, I wanted to find out the best strategies and steps so I could achieve this goal as efficiently and painlessly as possible without going into debt. This is what I've learned through my own research and experience, which I now want to share with you. I hope through the skills and knowledge that I've mastered, I can serve as a mentor to you on your journey to achieving your PhD.